All right, welcome everyone. I think we have a couple people still connecting, but we're going to go ahead and get started. So happy to see everyone here on Zoom. Welcome to our family orientation. So I am Jesse Welcomer. I am the Vice Principal of Montalvin, and I'm going to pass it to Ms. Acosta to introduce herself. Thank you so much, Ms. Welcomer. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Ms. Acosta Verpraskis. I am the principal. Um, buenas tardes a todos. Yo soy Ms. Acosta, la directora, y se la voy a pasar a Coach Pete. Thank you, Mrs. Acosta Verpraskis. Good evening, everybody. How's it going? Good to see you. I am Coach Pete. I am the Dean of Students. But most of you may know me, or if you don't know me, you will get to know me as the guy who's on the playground, playing with the kids, trying to ensure they're safe and really focused, learning on the playground so they can learn in the classroom at the same time. Awesome. And then we also have Ms. Tiana Dudley, who's our unconditional education coach as a member of our admin team. Y también tenemos a Ms. Dudley, que es nuestra um, ayudante de cultura, um, que desafortunadamente no puede estar aquí con nosotros. So tonight we're going to go through some key information about uh, our school and our rules this year and Ms. Acosta is going to be translating into Spanish and we also are recording this meeting and it will be on our website um, later tonight. So, hoy día lo que vamos a hacer es vamos a repasar la información que tenemos sobre nuestra cultura y la escuela y los procedimientos. Um, y también estamos grabando esta uh, junta y vamos a ponerlo en el website. Y yo voy a traducir. And feel free to add questions into the chat. We will take questions at the end. Y si tienen alguna pregunta, por favor, este, usen el chat para escribirlo y vamos a llegar a las preguntas al final. So this is our school vision. I'm not going to read it, but I just want to highlight that this is the vision that we're striving towards every day. You can see our core values there in bold. Um, this information is on our website and we really value at Montalvin students taking independence and agency over their own learning and teachers and staff working in collaboration to serve our community. Y esta es nuestra visión escolar. Uh, no vamos a leerla toda hoy día, la tenemos disponible en completo en inglés y español en nuestra página de web, pero describe lo que queremos para nuestros estudiantes, que es que crezcan mucho académicamente y también de que ellos sean los dueños de su educación. And you can also find Montalvin's stance on racial equity, which we developed as a community last year, and it just really highlights that we're working um, to serve all our students and make sure we have a safe and welcoming place for every member of our community. And that as a staff, we're really digging deep to partner with all members of our community as well. Y también en nuestra uh, website pueden encontrar este nuestro, um, una cosa que hemos creado para la igualdad para todas las personas que queremos que todos nuestros estudiantes se sientan cómodos um, siendo parte de nuestra comunidad en la escuela. I'm on Tavin, we have five core values. You've probably seen these around campus or on anything coming from Montalvin. We really highlight community, curiosity, grit, compassion, and courage. Um, and we are going to be revamping our core values this year. So if you are interested in being a part of that process, you can reach out to our admin team as well. Y también acá están los valores que tenemos como escuela, tenemos comunidad, curiosidad. Um, arduo, trabajo, compasión y también uh, courage, es este valor. <laughs> y vamos a estar cambiando estos, um, estos valores, vamos a reconsiderarlos. Queremos invitar a la comunidad para que se pudiera estar con And then we also wanted to share our three priorities that we are working towards as a staff. Um, priority one is really meeting the demands of the Common Core. So that's our academics, making sure we have all students achieving at high levels. Priority two is collective efficacy as a staff really valuing collaboration. And then priority three is a positive school environment, making sure that all students feel safe and welcomed. Y también queremos dejarles saber que tenemos tres prioridades este año. La primera es asegurarnos que nuestros niños están aprendiendo al nivel de um, los estándares de California. Um, el número dos es que nuestro equipo está trabajando junto para que nuestros niños puedan aprender. Y la 
prioritar en el ambiente y un clima positivo en el programa. So now I'm going to share just some important information, and again, all this can be found on our website, montalvinmanor.org. One of the most important things you can find there is the Montalvin school calendar. Montalvin sometimes has a different calendar than the rest of the district. Our minimum days are different. Our student-led conference days are different. So please make sure you're following the Montalvin Manor school calendar on our website. Any green days are our Wednesday minimum days. Blue are our student-led conference days. We have a day in November where there's no school. So make sure you're looking at this calendar. And then I also wanted to remind everyone our regular day dismissal is 220 for K3 and 240 for fourth through eighth grade. On any minimum day, whether it's green or blue on this calendar, all students are dismissed at one o'clock PM. Entonces, otra cosa que es super importante que pueden encontrar en nuestra página web es nuestro calendario de Montalban. Nuestro calendario es diferente del distrito, entonces queremos que por favor usen este calendario. Um, puede ver de que el calendario tiene los días mínimos este, en verde, los días mínimos especiales en gris, nuestras conferencias de estudiantes en azul y también el día, um, un día donde los estudiantes no tienen que venir en morado. Uh, también puede ver de que un día regular eh, los niños de kindergarten a tercero salen a las 2.20, los niños grandes de 4 a 8 salen a las 2.40, pero en cada día mínimo todos salen a la 1 de la tarde y este es los miércoles que tenemos día mínimo y también los días que tenemos que son mínimos especiales. We also are a uniform school, so please make sure your students are wearing their uniforms every day. So for uniforms, we want um blue black white gray um tops and then khaki blue black or yes khaki blue and black pants um and just plain you can get them from walmart or wherever as long as the clothes don't have brands um or like logos so please make sure your students are wearing uniforms every day También queremos dejarles saber de que somos una escuela que sí usa uniformes para todos los niños y los colores son azul, crema, um, negro o gris. Y los mismos colores de arriba se pueden usar abajo. Lo único que pedimos es que no tengan logos. A mí lo pueden encontrar en cualquier tienda como la Guarma, la Target, donde les guste. Y también les pedimos que por favor los niños se pongan zapatos visibles para que puedan hacer su edición. Yeah, then one thing Ms. Acosta added is the picture of the tennis shoes. Please make sure students are coming to school in shoes that they can run and do PE and lots of fun activities in. We want them to be safe when they're running. All right, so now we're gonna talk about some of our COVID-19 safety procedures. I know this is top of mind for many people and the safety of our students and staff is of the utmost importance to us. So we do have a lot of new procedures in place this year. Y ahora vamos a conversar sobre los procedimientos de COVID. Sabemos que es lo que más nos está preocupando este año y que hemos hecho muchos cambios para asegurarnos que todos estén saludables. Um, one thing on our website that is really important is this video. We made a video, one in English and one in Spanish, and they're right there on the front of the website going through all our new procedures, what a classroom looks like, how students walk in the hallway, how they fill their water bottles, all the important procedures we have this year. So if you haven't already, please make sure you visit our website and watch the video with our new procedures. Otra cosa que está en nuestra página de web que queremos enseñarle es el video que tenemos en inglés y en español para los procedimientos um, y los cambios que eh, tenemos en la escuela. Um, el video está ahí disponible y queremos que a todos los que nos a Corea. So a few things I just want to highlight of main um, components of our safety plan. Masks are required for all staff and students, regardless of vaccination status, both indoors and outdoors. So students need to be wearing their masks, covering their nose and mouth at all times. We are having temperature checks for students daily. Um, and so those students' temperatures are checked. And if anyone has a fever above 100.4, they need to stay home. 
We also are not having any campus visitors at this time, unfortunately. Parents are not allowed on our campus. Um, however, if the parents need to make an appointment with the office, you simply call the office to make an appointment um, and they will schedule a time to meet. We also have lots of hand sanitizer inside and outside before students play on the playground, before they eat lunch, after they eat lunch, entering the classroom. We have lots of hand sanitizer everywhere and our water fountains are turned off. They are only for filling water bottles. So we are asking families to send students with a reusable water bottle labeled with their name so that students can use uh, the water fountains to fill their water bottles. So, unas cuantas ideas importantes que queremos repasar con usted. Las máscaras sí son requeridas para todas las personas uh, y si está vac vacunado o no, um, les pedimos que pongan la máscara adentro y afuera. También estamos chequeando la temperatura todos los días para los estudiantes. Si un fiebre de 100.4 o más alto no se puede quedar en la escuela. Desafortunadamente este año por los cambios de COVID no estamos dejando que tengamos um, gente que visite el campus. Entonces desafortunadamente nuestros papás no pueden entrar al campus. Pero si usted tiene alguna cosa que tiene que repasar con la oficina puede llamar a la oficina para hacer uh, una junta con ellos. También tenemos este um, sanitizer uh, para las manos, para que se haga el cor, uh, para que se puedan limpiar las manos adentro, afuera, cualquier lugar que se voltea, hay donde se pueden usar el hand sanitizer. Y también tenemos estaciones de agua, um, donde los niños pueden usar botellas para llenar su agua. Y le estamos pidiendo a las familias que, por favor, cuando las manden, que le pongan el nombre, el primer nombre y apellido a todos los niños. So now I'm going to talk about our arrival and dismissal procedures, and we actually have changed them. So if you've been in our drop off line in a car the last two days, you know that traffic is pretty bad and we heard families concerns and we want to make sure we're supporting everyone to get to work on time and not sit in traffic for too long while still making sure we're keeping our students and staff safe. And so we are making a switch that instead of doing the temperatures at the car, which you may have seen the last few days, we are gonna be doing temperatures in the classroom. So teachers will be taking every student's temperature to make sure we're still staying safe, but that will speed up our drop off line. So hopefully people will not have to wait quite as long. We are still having the rule adults need to stay in the car wearing a mask at all times when they drop off their students. We don't want families parking to campus. So please families stay in your car and wait to come around to let the student let out. We are asking that families do not drop their students off before 7.50. We will not have adult supervision there before 7.50. So please try to not drop your students off early. Because we're doing temperatures in the classroom, however, you now don't need to wait um, for our second through eighth grade students. So you don't have to wait for an adult there to take the temperature to open the door. You can just pull into the front of the school for second through eighth grade and drop off your student. They will go right to the yard. Um, and again, please no earlier than 750, but you do not know, you no longer have to wait for us to come up and take the temperature. Okay, so ahora vamos a conversar sobre la llegada y la partida para los estudiantes. Este, nosotros sabemos que ha sido bien difícil estos dos primeros días porque hemos tenido bastante tráfico y queremos apoyar a las familias. No queremos que lleguen tarde al trabajo. Sabemos que ha sido frustrante. So vamos a hacer unos cambios para estos procesos para apoyar a nuestra comunidad. Ahora vamos. Ms. Acosta, you got muted. There you go. Thank you so much. Entonces, el cambio va a ser de que ahora que los niños van a tomar la temperatura en el salón, ya no tenemos que uh, tener tanto tráfico. Cuando usted pase, si su niño es de segundo a octavo grado, no tiene que esperar a ver un adulto ahí. En los niños más se pueden bajar. Pero le queremos dejar saber que no tenemos supervisión antes de las 7.50. Pedimos que los niños no lleguen antes de eso. Um, los niños después van a reportarse a la yarda y van a jugar y los van a encontrar con sus maestros. En la tarde, uh, los niños van a ir al mismo lugar donde van a estar recogidos y la apreciamos paciencia. And in the afternoon for dismissal, teachers will walk their students to the same location that they got dropped off in the morning. And we appreciate your patience because we know sometimes the traffic can get backed up. 
So an important point about breakfast and lunch, all students are receiving a breakfast daily. Breakfast is going to be eaten with their class during morning meeting first thing in the day. And then for lunch, our students are eating in the cafeteria. They are sitting only with their class and they are only sitting on one side of the cafeteria table. So they're not sitting directly across from anyone during lunch. Algunos cambios este, sobre nuestros uh, almuerzos y desayunos. Ahora, este año, todos los niños están recibiendo un desayuno saludable. Um, los desayunos están siendo comidos durante la hora de um, uh, círculo en las cafeterías. Uh, en el almuerzo, hemos hecho un gran cambio. Podemos reducir la mitad de los niños en la cafetería y solo se está sentando en un lado de la cafetería. All right, so we will be COVID testing our students this year. We think it's an important part of making sure everyone in our community is safe. Um, and so there are two forms that families need to fill out. Everyone should have received them in a packet with the emergency card and other important documents from the teacher. Please fill out these two forms as soon as possible so that we can start testing students and make sure that everyone is safe. Um, an important thing to know is that it's not the nose the nose test, we know that can be sometimes painful for students. It is just a cheek swab. It is really painless. Even our kindergartners in summer school um, were COVID tested without any tears and everyone was okay with it. And it was pretty fast and painless. So please make sure you fill out those two forms um, and let us know if you have any questions. También, este, gran parte de nuestro plan para asegurarnos que todos están saludables es hacer el examen de COVID a todos los estudiantes. Usted debería haber recibido dos páginas, uh, uno es una forma médica y otro es un permiso para poder hacer el examen a su estudiante. Uh, la, yo sé que a veces un poquito le da miedo a la gente el examen, pero queremos que sepa que todos los estudiantes estamos haciendo el examen, pero en la boca. Uh, so no va a ser algo pero que les duela. Lo hicimos este verano con niños hasta de kindergarten y este, nadie estaba llorando, entonces le pedimos que por favor nos apoye en esta parte para que todos los niños puedan hacer este, recibir el examen. Vamos a hacer los, los exámenes cada jueves, pero por favor, mañana es jueves. Si todavía no ha llegado la forma, llénela y mándela con su estudiante mañana. Thank you. And important information, the testing will be happening weekly on Thursday, starting tomorrow. So if you have not completed those two forms, please make sure you fill them out tonight and send them back with your student tomorrow. So all this information that we've shared, as well as a lot of other information about our safety procedures, including um, cleaning and sanitizing, is all here in our safety plan. Again, it can be found on our website. So if you go to montalvinmanor.org and scroll down, you can see the document and scroll through and read more in detail um, all the plans we have in place. Toda la información que hemos repasado con usted está disponible detalladamente en nuestro plan de COVID que está disponible en nuestro web page. Si alguna vez tiene una pregunta o quiere repasarlo, puede visitar nuestra página web. And here is our website. I chatted at montalvinmanor.org. And this is really the number one place to go for any and all questions you may have about schedules, class lists, supplies, our COVID procedures, after school program. Um, this video recording will be there as well as any announcements and important information throughout the year. Y aquí está nuestra página web, también está en el chat. Um, este es un lugar donde usted puede ir y puede agarrar toda la información que necesita. Este video va a estar ahí, um, donde están los cursos, la lista de cursos y básicamente queremos que nuestras familias la visiten frecuentemente. Otra aplicación que también usamos es CITA y esta aplicación, por favor, pedimos que todos los papás uh, usen porque en este estamos para hacer los mensajes, para hacer videos y también los maestros se comuniquen de esta manera. Por favor, este, bajen esta aplicación y cuando es tiempo de conferencias también va a recibir uh, uh, fotos del trabajo que se en esta Go ahead, coach. I'm sorry, Ms. Welcomer. We had a couple questions around who should parents call if they need to let us know that their student or their child will be late because of a dentist or doctor's appointment 
or who do they call in the event they need to pick their child up early and you will call the main office the phone number is in the chat and in the event that you do need to pick your child up early please let us know ahead of time and then also call when you're outside and we will make sure your child is brought to you to your car Perfect. So this um, logo here is for Seesaw. The app for families is called Seesaw for Families. So make sure you download it to communicate with your child's teacher um, and see pictures of student work. And that's all the information we have to share with you tonight, but we are here to answer questions. You can add them to the chat or you can use the raise hand feature on Zoom and we will unmute you to ask questions. Yes, Alessandra. Yes, hi. Um, so my question is uh, is related to um, to Coach Pete uh, about the, um, you know, if the child have a, a appointment, but that is just like, um, uh, what if my child like have appointment in the morning and she still have time to come in the class? So would I still drop my child at the appointment or is she going to be absent for that day for the whole day? How would that be? Great question. Yes. So if the appointment's in the morning and the school day is not over, yes, please bring your child to school to attend for the rest of the day. Um, and you can just call the office when you arrive and someone will come out and, and take your child's temperature and let them in and walk them directly to class. Okay. Again, so... How about her attendance? So will she charge for the half day or is she going to be count as a full day attendance? That's a great question. She would be counted as tardy for the day. I'm sorry, I didn't hear that. Uh, she would be counted as tardy for the day. So she will get the tardy in the morning and then the, so, okay. So even though she has the excuse, Yes, so that's a great question. Anytime families call the office because of a doctor's appointment or if they're ill, we excuse the absence. However, the absence would still happen, so unfortunately, it still has to be reported. An unexcused absence is better than an, an or an excused absence is better than an unexcused absence. But the state of California does track absences, and so after three, you get one letter. And then after five, you get another letter, and um, they really, after 10, uh, start having um, different meetings with you of, um, in our district about how we can support, because attendance is very, very important, and so we do ask that families try to do as much as possible to reschedule all medical appointments until after school. Okay, so, okay, another question. So, okay. Um, what if my child is not past the temperature that morning and you guys let her, uh, her um, not to attend the class? So is her attendance going to be absent that day? Unfortunately, yes. So when a student is ill, they're not allowed to be on campus um, and the temperature is, is definitely ill. And so, um, yes, that would still be the case, but it would, the student would be marked absent if they're not there. And that absence is shown on her report card. That's right. Okay, thank you. Of course. And I'm going to go ahead and translate that really quickly in Spanish. Um, entonces, la pregunta es, ¿qué si mi niño tiene un appointment? Si doctor en la mañana, ¿puedo traerlo más tarde? Está bien, tráiganos, queremos que aprendan este día. También, este, um, queremos que sepa de que desafortunadamente después de ciertas ciertos números de ausencias va a recibir cartas porque queremos que los niños estén en la escuela porque así los pueden aprender. Pero le pedimos a las familias que por favor uh, hagan las citas de los doctores después de la escuela para que no afecten las citas. I see Familia Fuentes is raising her hand. Uh, 
Gracias. Buena pregunta. Sí, muy buena pregunta. Entonces, este, en la evaluación médica le piden un número celular. A, a este número celular le van a mandar un texto um, de los resultados de su examen, de su estudiante. Si nosotros encontramos a un estudiante que fue positivo, comunicamos a las familias y los maestros para dejarles saber. Y comunicamos directamente con este, cualquier estudiante o adulto que ha sido ponido a COVID. Um, entonces, la comunicación va a ser alta. Por eso estamos eh, pidiéndole a todos los papás que hagan la forma para que podamos eh, hacerlo de examen a todos. So the question was, um, how do we find out the results of the COVID test and how do we find out if the students, or do we find out if they were positive cases? The response is that is um, why we want to make sure that those forms are spelled out. Um, the number, the cell phone number and the email address that you put on your forms is what will be notified. So you will get the results of your student's COVID test um, via text message or email, whichever you prefer. But then in the event that we do find a positive case, we do communicate with our community and staff to let them know of the, of the positive case as well as we do a different level of communication with anyone who may have been exposed um, because they have close contact. Other questions? Otras preguntas. I'm not seeing any hands, Miss Welcomer. Are you seeing any hands or chat? I see one more hand, Alessandra. Yes, um, again, about the uh, parent not allowed on the campus, it will be for the whole entire school year or it's going to be forever or how do we know or, you know? Yeah, we certainly don't want it to be forever. <laughs> we want you guys back as soon as possible. Uh, but at this time, we are following the direction um, that the district is giving us based on the guidelines um, for California Health. Um, so for now, until further notice, that is the case, but we are hoping that we get through this and that we have more and more people vaccinate so that we can invite our families back on campus. So as soon as we know, we'll let you know. Okay, um, maybe this is the last question. Um, so what if like my child, um, you know, gets sick or I feel that um, she's, Attend the class is not safety, and but I want to enroll her uh, online course. So, will 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 was that transition to that, or I have to be in the you know the campus of the school, or will allow me to you know in, enroll to the uh, the virtual learning? Yeah, that's a great question, and and a lot of families are in that position where they're needing to make that decision. And so, unfortunately, Montalvin does not have a virtual option. Um, and so um, the only option our entire district has is the virtual academy. Um, and what the virtual academy is asking families to let them be committed to enrollment there. And so if families do feel that it is safer for them to choose the virtual option, they have to drop from on top and they have to enroll at the virtual academy. And they do, they just added a few more teachers. They do have space So any family that is interested in transferring their child to the virtual academy should go to our district website and should go to www.wccusd.net and you can um, fill out the virtual um, VISTA application um, there. And then once you do get enrolled and accepted, we drop your student from on Calvin. But I can do that anytime, right? Thank I don't you. have to. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Of course, of course. And I'm going to go ahead and translate that. So la pregunta es, este, um, que si quiero eh, matricular a mi estudiante en la escuela virtual o quiero la opción virtual. Y desafortunadamente no tenemos este, la opción virtual en Manhattan. Y este, si las familias quieren una opción virtual, van a tener que um, bajarse de la escuela Manhattan y matricularse en la escuela de esta. El website um, está en el chat donde pueden darle aplicación 
um, pueden hacer este cambio a cualquier parte de la casa. All right, I'm not seeing I'm not seeing any more questions in the chat or hands up. So if you do have questions, feel free to stick around. Otherwise, thank you so much for attending our parent meeting tonight. And again, this re video um, recording will be on our website, montalvamanor.org. So if you want to rewatch anything, you can. So queremos pedir las gracias a todas las familias por estar aquí con nosotros. Este, vamos a poner este video uh, en nuestro website, en nuestra página web, para que puedan repasarlo. Y queremos más agradecer su apoyo y este, por estar aquí con nosotros. Cuídense mucho y si tiene más preguntas, por favor, quédese. Y si no, nos vemos pronto. Thank you.